to today's video, we are going to be making very spicy hummus. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Rachel and I make a lot of vegan recipes. I just like showing people that it's easy to eat vegan. It doesn't always have to be like 100% healthy and 100% vegetables. I just feel like even making some of your meals vegan makes such an impact on the earth and the environment. Ugh. Vegan agenda, vegan agenda, vegan agenda, whatever. Today we're making my favorite hummus. I love hummus. I eat it every single day. And while I do buy and use store-bought hummus, sometimes I really think there's nothing like homemade hummus. The texture is so much different and the fact that you can make it any flavor that you want is just really exciting. The possibilities are endless. Also, I'm going to teach you a trick today that is going to completely change the texture of your homemade hummus. Guys, this is a serious life changer. This is probably the best kitchen tip I have ever gotten. It's the one that has made the biggest impact on my life. So if you want to learn all my secrets, you should probably stick around. Hummus in general is lovely. I love hummus. I love spicy food. So this is my spicy, spicy, hot, hot hummus recipe. It is both spicy like hot sauce spicy, but it's also spicy like that heat that comes with wasabi and horseradish, which makes sense because this is buffalo horseradish hummus. Hummus is actually really easy to make and it actually doesn't take that much time at all, especially if you take the easy way out. Using a can of chickpeas, you just rinse them and dump them into the food processor along with the other ingredients, blend, and you have hummus in like less than three minutes, which is incredible. I do an extra step and I shell all of my chickpeas. When you get chickpeas, they have a little shell on them. So they have this little shell on them and all you have to do to take it off is kind of pinch it and the shell comes off just that easily. The problem is it takes forever because you do each individual chickpea. And if you're talking about doing a whole can of chickpeas, it's going to take you like 15 or 20 minutes maybe. But I am so obsessed with the texture of the hummus without the shells on it. I always do this step. I'll usually just, um, so I rinse them in this and then I put the whole thing in this bowl so that this bowl catches all of the excess liquid and I'll sit in front of the TV or my computer or something and I'll watch something or listen to something while I'm shelling these so it doesn't seem like such a chore. And Holly is always right beside me. Chickpeas are one of her favorite thing to eat. It's the cutest thing ever. Holly, you want a chickpea? So cute. Besides the can of chickpeas, other things that you are going to need are a food processor and I always use a glass bowl to put mine in. You need a fourth of a cup measuring cup, a spoon and a spatula. Ingredient wise, you need hot sauce. I really like using Frank's red hot sauce. You definitely need tahini and I really recommend getting the portable tahini a little bit of garlic powder and horseradish. Horseradish is not always vegan, so you always wanna make sure that you check the ingredients. This one is horseradish, distilled vinegar, water, salt, and natural flavor. I have found horseradish with eggs in it before, so just always make sure that you check. Let's go ahead and throw this together. So my trick for doing this as easily as possible is to use one measuring cup for the tahini and the hot sauce. So you see me getting both ready. I take the lids off of both and you need a fourth of a cup of each. 
So I pour my tahini in here. Delish. I use the same cup for the hot sauce. Pour it in. I grab my spatula. Clean out the little cup. And I just put this in the sink. I never measure my garlic because I put a different amount in every single time. It depends on what I want the hummus to taste like, but also if I'm feeling sick at all. Anytime I'm getting any kind of like a cold type thing, I eat so much garlic to kick it out of my system. So if I'm feeling like really sick that week, I'm gonna put a ton of garlic in here. But there's so much flavor in here already, you don't actually need a lot of garlic. I do like the extra layer of flavor it provides, so I, I'm i gonna put a little bit in. That was probably like an eighth of a teaspoon. And same for the horseradish. I don't always put the same amount in, but usually what I do is like one heaping spoonful. So something like this. Again, guys, I really, really like spicy food and I really like the taste of horseradish. Not everyone can handle this flavor profile in here. You've been warned. Now all that's left is the secret ingredient. This is ice. A lot of hummus recipes call for oil, which I don't like adding in here, or water. But if you add ice as the liquid in hummus instead of water, when you start blending it, the ice breaks up everything in the hummus and it makes the texture light and fluffy and whipped. And it's this amazing, I can't even describe what the texture is like. So I always put ice in my hummus now. And this is crushed ice. And I'm using probably about a fourth of a cup, maybe a little bit over. And now we just blend it. once I take off the lid and I just scrape down the sides and just make sure nothing is stuck on the bottom in there and then I blend again so besides being great for texture the fact that there is ice in this recipe means that your hummus comes out cold. Cold hummus makes it easier to eat this right away, I think. But if you do keep it in the fridge for a little bit or like overnight, the consistency and the texture gets much better. Can you see this though? Like. The smoothness in this is just, it's crazy. So I just wanna make sure you can see this texture and everything. for watching everyone i hope you really enjoyed this if you make it let me know what you think about the flavor and the spice if you make your own hummus please let me know what you usually put in as your own ingredients i love hearing what other people make and getting new ideas have a great day everyone
garbanzo, garbanzo, garbanzo.